What up, people? This MCG here. We are back with Mutant Uprising, a text based fun RPG game. Where we left off, mutants are gathering around the station, and things are very getting pretty serious. Now it's time to fight for your life. Let's continue. The mutants have launched an all out assault on the police station. There are several dozen of them out there, and more appear to be up joining every moment. The police chief is screaming obscenities as the wave of enemies get closer and closer. Cliche strikes again. Uh, uh, we should get out of there. We plead with the insane chief, telling him there is no way he can beat them all. He's too far gone and seems unable to hear you. Sadly, you leave him to his fate. Ah oh, man, how's that kindness? You fight your way through the remaining mutants out the back of the police station. There are far few mutants back here, but you still do not have enough bullets for them all. Two mutants remain. Their tongues are almost as long as the rest of their body. It seems to be oozing a deadly poison. Uh, let's back away slowly. Back into the, uh, the police station. With nothing to defend yourself with, it seems that you are totally screwed. Back away slowly from your two mutants as there was. Suddenly you trip and fall down an open manhole right behind you. If I came out the same way, how did I not see the manhole? <coughs> Cliche. There is an almighty splash as you hit the foul smelling sewer water. You are dripping with disgusting liquid and you don't even want to consider what sorts of illnesses you could pick up from being here. On the plus side, it seems there are no mutants down here. Uh, move along. You finally find another manhole that you reckon is far enough away from the mutants to be safe. You emerge to find yourself nearing the outskirts of the town. There are no mutants around. After going a few steps, you realize that you absolutely stink. This is not good because the stench will soon attract a curious mutant. You need to wash and get a change of clothes. Now we're thinking smartly. Go to the nearest house and use the shower. Uh, there might be someone inside. Indoor swimming pool is uh, uh, open in uh, the indoor one. You're having a nice relaxing dip in the heated indoor pool. The stench of the sewers is now a bad memory and you start to feel good about yourself. Suddenly you are brought out of your reverie when you hear a splash. Treading water, you look over to see a hard negative making her way over to you. You start to get quite excited until you notice the inside of her mouth, a rose upon rose of shard like teeth. Every single time I fall in love, <laughs> she's a mutant, a hot legged mutant chick. Fill with her, you crack yourself, uh, get out of there. Uh, no, no, nope, <laughs> let's get out of there. You leave the pool as quickly as possible. You find some fresh clothing in the changing rooms and go on your way. Oh, that's nice. You go to a small shopping district and wonder what your next move should be. Amusement arcade and play video, go to news agents or sit on a bench. Uh, let's go to the news agents. This should be something in the news. You pick up a newspaper and peruse it for information. You find a story about a government plan to add some new experimental mineral to the water supply to improve the nation's health. Well, that helped a lot. That couldn't be the reason behind what's happening, could it? How could you have escaped from infection? Then you realize that you hardly ever wash and only ever drink beer. Fifty uh, percent of me. Perhaps you need prolonged exposure to become infected. Until you find out the truth, you vow to never bathe again. Ah, uh, the government. As you walk along the street, you come across a smashed up pet shop. No. There doesn't appear to be any pets left inside, at least not leaving. Leaving? Uh, is there supposed to be living? Okay. All except for one small animal standing on the pavement. A gerbil. Ah, a gerbil! I love those. It appears to be staring at you and it's making you slightly nervous. Uh, try to stroke it, try to step on it, sing it a lullaby, or run away. Uh, let's stroke it. You ruffle the cute little fellow's fur and you will sit. You take a step back. You never heard a German movie. 
it suddenly leaps through your and stings it right into your neck. You have a gurgling scream as blood gushes up through your throat. We hear you fall to the floor, dead. Okay. Sure. No, we're starting from all over here. God. Okay, guys. I'll be back. Okay, we're back. And uh, I'm gonna sing it a little bit. Why not? They said a music suits the savage beast. Oh, oh, we received Jerry the Gerbil. We have a pet. Finally. They say that music soothes the savage beast, and that certainly proves the case this time. The gerbil snuffles up to you and rubs itself against you. It appears to have you appear to have made a friend. Nice. Hey, Jerry. You pick him up and realize he's a muted gerbil with red sharp teeth. Yeah, we already know that. You will decide to name him Jerry. Hey, Jerry. You will decide you need somewhere quiet to hang out, so you go to the library. Sit back and read a book, look out the window, investigate the library, look up into the report. <laughs> I said, Jerry, the gerbil on guard duty. Jerry, you're on guard duty, even though that's pretty stupid. While you're busy looking up one on the internet, Jerry lets out a squeak. You go to the window and see what he's looking at. What is it, Jerry? What do you see, boy? Mutants are beginning to gather outside the library. Shall I go away where the gerbil will get the hell out? Uh, we should get out. You decide you have to get all hell out. We're going to need transport to do so. Try to hotwire a car. I'm pretty sure I'm a 20 uh, something who has been rejected for the past few days for any single job. I'm pretty sure I wouldn't know how to hotwire a car. Investigate the car down to find transport. Steal a bike. Um, I'm skeptical to do any of these, but let's go find transport. You come across a car showroom. There should be an easy way to get into one of these vehicles and claim it for your own. Go straight into the main building. Nah. Try to peer in through the windows of the main building to see if there's anyone inside. Nah. Try to hotwire a car on the forecourt. Nah. Send Jerry to the Jerry discount area. Yeah, sure, why not? Jerry discovers there is some someone inside. It's a formal former sales room owner. The skin on his face has melted away to reveal nothing but a skull, and his body is covered in lethal-looking spines. So basically, uh, Ghost Rider slash uh, Deathstroke combination. No, not that's for sure. What's his name? Ah, forget it. You will have to get him somehow. Bye. There's no getting around it. You're going to have to kill this mutant somehow. That was the best way to do it. I don't know what I'm going to do with the mutant uh, the superhero. Let's see, uh, grab an aerial, try to screw it in the head, try to crush its head in the door, try to grab it by the drawers around the cross room, bash it head against the drops wall, or set Jerry the attack. <laughs> That's so stupid, I'm gonna do it. We slip Jerry through a crack in the door and close it promptly. There's silence for a few months, there's a single cry and a patter of gushing blood. You open the door to see Jerry sitting proudly on top of his scale. Damn, Jerry is badass. We need to find some keys if we're going to use these vehicles for getaway. Where should the, where would the owners have kept the keys? Take a look in the staff room, take a look on the front desk, we send Jerry Reserve to find the keys. Go Jerry, find the keys. Jerry soon sniffs out where the keys are located, on the desk, obviously. Really. You find an array of keys, all marks spef specifically for the cars they operate. Oh, that's nice. Thanks Jerry. Got a choice of vehicles to pick from, and you'll soon be driving away from this hellhole of a town to find somewhere quiet in the hills, far away from civilization. That's pretty smart. Just as you begin to relax, re relax, you hear a toilet flush. The door opens, and you turn to see a mutant with no arms and gigantic teeth, with his trousers down around his ankles. He lets out a terrifying roar. With nowhere else to go, you run into a seating area to discover it's a dead end. Okay. But if it had no arms, how did it flush? Just as you think this might be it, you spot some weapons hidden in one of the chairs. Uh, these chairs? For sure that's not really hidden. This might have been an earlier hideout for someone. The mutant is now quickly closing on. You have to choose a weapon to strike back. A pistol, a chainsaw, a shotgun, a sledgehammer. How did you hide something underneath these chairs? 
shotgun. Oh, I more of a shotgun or something. You pull out the shotgun and with a single closer into the Oh, I got a sound of shotgun. Nice. The closer you run, blow off the mutant's head to smithereens. You reload the gun with the last remaining cartridge. In the background you hear other mutants crying out. The commotion must have disturbed them. You have to get out of here. Okay. Gotta go fast. Do -do -do -do. You have to keys to four vehicles, but you will only have a chance to use one of them before the mutants are upon you. The SUV at the back. Uh, no. Try the high-end sports car. Uh, the uh, people carrier in the middle of the forecourt. The try uh, oh, oh, out at the back. It's old and it's dis uh, on discount. So the high-end sports car. It might be fast, but you know, sports car get crashed really, uh, destroyed really easily. SUV or uh, I'm gonna go with this. The vehicle is a fairly sturdy customer and it's parked within really easy reach of the exit. See, that's a good choice. Just as you start up the engine, one of the mutants find you and they begin to rush towards you en masse. The mutants are rushing towards you head on. There has to be about a dozen of them, and some of them are the most terrifying monsters that you've seen yet. Try to drive straight through them. The mutants got them. Not zombies. Try to drive around them and get through the back. Get out the car and run. Send Jerry uh, against these powerful lords. As much as I want to, I don't want to. Let's get up. You spin the wheel and wrap the car, zipping past them easily. Okay. The tires squeal as you turn into a main road, turning, trying to retain tra traction. You speed away, thinking you're home and try. As you drive on down the road, you notice another vehicle in your rear view mirror. To your horror, you realize it's the mutants from the showroom. They have taken a truck and are hunting you down. Why did I, uh, didn't I see a truck there? You are jolted in your seat as they ram you from behind. They are trying to force you off the road. Mm, put your hazard lights on. <laughs> it's not gonna help. Night in speed and try to give a push a car to your absolute limits. That's some power gonna crash. You gotta get behind them. I could, but it's a truck and it's not a movie. If there's a video game, it's not a movie. Maintain a high speed, uh, maintain speed. It's difficult, but you manage to keep your car steady as the mutants continue to ram you. See, slow and steady wins the race. You can't hold on like this much longer. Okay, I'm probably gonna die. You've made it onto the highway, but you have to do something about these past mutants following you. This is your last time. What are you going to do? Try to outrun them, go in, into the upcoming roundabout, shake them off, try to ram them off the road. Jerry uh, goes and uh, shoot the driver with a shotgun. Let's do it. The driver sneers at you, you draw a long set to drag. Dennis' expression turns to one of surprise as you draw a shotgun. One blast later, and he's no expression left at all. The truck wheels off the road and crashes into a building. You don't look back and uh, keep on driving. Bad guys don't look at explosions. You keep on driving until you find an abandoned hut in the middle of a woodland. It's next to a running stream and there's plenty of non infected wildlife and fruit available. You can live here for as long as you need. Yay! Does that mean it's ended? With your companion Jerry, the attack gerbil by your side, you shouldn't be too lonely. You barely escaped from a town and you see no reason to ever go back there. Sure, it means never seeing another human being for as long as you live, but if that's what you have to do to stay alive, then you're going to happy you then you're going happy to accept a hermit lifestyle. Okay. Ranking B minus. You wouldn't have any trouble getting through a real mutant apocalypse. You were the one who people would try to turn to for advice. Hell, you could probably become the ruler of your own little person. Ah, yay! B minus though. Uh, uh, that was pretty fun actually. I enjoyed playing this game. This is, uh, I'll repeat, Mutant Uprising. It's a RPG based uh, horror game. Uh, not exactly horror, but maybe a monster game, you can say. If you want, you can also play this. See if you get better results than I did. I died only once. Let's see how much you survive. Oh, and if you want, you know, uh, I mean, you, you, you know, you, you, you can like, comment, and subscribe.
yeah i guess you could yeah. <laughs> okay see you in the next video Hope I will see you in the next video. Bye bye. Uh, but wait. <coughs> Let's see the score. Final score is 2671 points. Oh, that's brutality 0, kindness 2, information 2, items 1, 2, generate. I'm not silly. God damn it. Publish done 31 minutes. It took me 31 minutes. Damn. And I uh, died once of minus 50 points. God damn it! <laughs> Let's see if you get get a better score than me. <laughs> Probably gonna die in a real hard situation, but you know it's just a game. It's just a game, bro. Bro, it's just a game. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.